You may know her best as Kate from This Is Us, but you may not know her boyfriend is a Nashville songwriter, and the two of them are now co-authors. Earlier, we spoke to Chrissy Metz and Bradley Collins. Welcome to DBL, Bradley and Chrissy. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being here. What made a songwriter and an actress want to write a children's book in the first place? Well, we, Bradley and I met each other over the pandemic on a dating app. And, you know, you really get to know each other when you're sort of sequestered to your homes. <laughs> so we spent a lot of time really getting to know each other. And we had the same schools of thought and the same sort of morals and standards and values. And I've always wanted to write a children's book. I taught preschool for many years. I have a very big family. And so, I don't know, it was sort of like a natural progression that we thought, how do we impart this on young readers and their hearts and their minds? And, yeah, we decided to write a children's book together. I love that this journey all culminated in a children's book, but I have to go back to the you met on a dating app because <laughs> my girlfriends uh, are constantly talking about these dating apps and how they're a nightmare. So could you give single people some hope about <laughs> how this could be better navigated so that they can get a result like yours? Well, I feel very lucky. Um, I don't know why he was single and it was just the right timing, but... I think that I also, we both are very vulnerable people and I think that's really important as far as what it is that you're, you know, like attracts like. And so for me, I just, I think that you have to just stay with it and be honest and be authentic in your search. And because like attracts like, you, you eventually hopefully find the right person for you. And it was in the middle of a pandemic. So it was all virtual anyway. So that helped us to talk a lot. We had our first <laughs> virtual date it was a FaceTime call. Mm. And just really after talking on the app, see if we really got got along and vibed or not. And and we did. And we had our first real date and it got rained out. Okay. You know, so we were gonna meet in a park because that was before the vaccine was available. Right, safety first. And uh ended up coming over to my place with me sitting in the living room and her in the kitchen and us basically yelling back and forth. <laughs> You know, trying to be trying trying to get to know each other that that way yeah such a pandemic relationship I know. Uh, <laughs> yeah. the creative sure. energy you two are like a creative power couple we heard you have an album coming out together bradley as a songwriter how did chrissy impress you working on the album well chrissy's a songwriter also she's written a lot of songs for herself but for her it was it was an extension of the book the album's called Prayed for This Day, and it completes the thought of the album, which was every, there's a plan for all of us. And uh, working with Chrissy was just great because her vocals are just so powerful and dreamlike anyways that the lullabies came to life quickly. We wrote them, we wrote all 10 songs with our friend Phil Barton and uh, had some other co-writers, Liz Rose and Jennifer Wayne, but it was just very effortless. And that's just how kind of how our, our creativity works, which is great. Can I just say this book made me cry? For all the parents or caretakers out there, the illustrations are beautiful, but I have to read this one line that like choked me up. I'm proud of how brave you're learning to be. You can do anything if you believe. Oh, Sam, story I time. That. I that know, it's amazing. beautiful, beautiful. I'm gonna talk about something really shallow, which is stealing <laughs> things from a set. So excuse the, uh, the change here. But we have to talk about This Is Us. And after the show ended last year, Chrissy, was there anything sentimental to you? You just, you kind of stole, you took anything you couldn't leave without? Here's the thing, I, I would have tried to steal it because a couple people wanted it, but it's very big and very heavy. It was the piano oh, that nice. and Rebecca played, and then of course, Kate and Jack played. So luckily I was able to have it gifted to me. I didn't have to steal it, because that would have been a little, <laughs> little tricky to pull up in a U-Haul at Paramount. Um, but I do have it, it's in the house, which is very exciting. Oh, oh, that good cool. memories would have gone viral. Yeah, that she's all good. running out with it. Uh, DBL Nation, you can pre-order When I Talk to God, I Talk About You. Now, wherever books are sold. Also, their new album, Prayed for This Day, comes out this Friday. Mm. Chrissy and Bradley, congratulations. So much success. Thank you for joining Thank you. us. Thank you. Thank you.